Okay, let's upgrade your Moodle. So you're logged into your current Moodle uh, as an administrator. You, by the front page, you're going to go to server, maintenance mode, and enable maintenance mode. The, uh, there's an optional message that you can leave there for your non-admins. Uh, who won't be able to log into the site during maintenance mode. Ideally you've given everybody advance notice and you've probably chosen a period of uh, low activity to uh, take your site offline. So it's now in maintenance mode. We're in a position to back up a few things before we proceed with the upgrade. So you're probably using, uh, depending how you're hosting your Moodle on your servers or somebody else's, you may be using a control panel like cPanel or Plesk uh, when you've logged into your set account, um, you should be able to um, get to your databases. So uh, PHP My Admin is a fairly typical way to access your MySQL, and you will want to grab a copy of your, da your database. That'll be the first thing in SQL format. So save that, save that uh, on your computer somewhere away from the server that's hosting your Moodle. So that's the first thing you do. That will be a .sql file. Back over at your control panel, uh, you'll also want to grab copies of uh, the Moodle software. Okay, um, and the Moodle data directory that contains um, all of your courses and associated data. Okay, uh, your config.php file, which is contained within the Moodle software directory, um, and, and certainly any third-party plugins and, and custom themes and the like that would uh, be overwritten by, by an upgrade. Okay, so you'll uh, want to have those things, put them aside, and uh, you're certainly going to need some of them um, you know, to be able to carry across your upgrades successfully. And certainly uh, you'll need all of those things in the event that you've got to roll back to your, uh, to your current or your old Moodle version. All right, so all is good there. Um, let's presume we've uh, downloaded and we've got our backups safely put aside. Um, over at Moodle.org, you go to the download section and naturally you choose your preferred flavor of Moodle. Uh, you're going to select a current stable release, most likely. Uh, there's older stable builds, as indicated by the version numbers, and then you've got the latest upcoming releases. Uh, these aren't stable or necessarily production ready. They're more for um, um, developers and people looking to test Moodle in a non-production environment. So uh, we've done this already, but look, we've downloaded uh, the latest stable current release of the Moodle software to our computer, and then uploaded it to the, uh, the public HTML folder, or the web root, or the htdocs, depending what you call that area, um, in your Moodle server. Okay, so it's sitting there as a zip file at the moment. Uh, what you'll want to do now before you proceed is rename your current Moodle folder in the public HTML directory out of something else. Okay, so we've renamed that folder. Let's extract the latest stable Moodle release that we've just downloaded and then uh, FTP to this location. So that's being extracted as we speak. Okay, and again we'll name this new extracted folder um, simply Moodle. Just navigate to that folder. At this point in time, it won't have a config file. 
this is uh, the new software we want to upload the config file from the old Moodle instance with the uh, with the database settings, the usernames, password, um, you know, web root, data directory, and the like as part of that configuration. So those things should remain unchanged. So back over at our Moodle instance, it will be a case of running the notifications page or your Moodle address forward slash admin. And we should be in a position to move forward with the upgrade. Okay, so we're running through that now. Uh, you can check the status of your environmental settings there. If there's any red flags, you won't be able to proceed. Um, these are things that certainly relate to you, uh, you, you know, your MySQL database, uh, your PHP uh, extensions and libraries and settings and the like. Again, we can see uh, potentially some third-party plugins that were left behind. Okay, they needed to be copied across into the new Moodle data directory. Activities and blocks. So bear these things in mind. You may, in fact, not want to bring them across. But if you do, uh, be mindful not to leave them behind. So at this stage, as your Moodle's upgrading, uh, you know, uh, database tables and the like are being updated. Hopefully it's all green lights. It should be success. Click continue as we just move forward. Uh, there's some, uh, some new settings, configuration settings that uh, need to be set um, with, the, with, the, with the upgrade. We could certainly leave the defaults if need be and uh, revisit these at a later stage. So there you have it we have upgraded our Moodle to the latest stable release.